you've got to get rid of your fear. Go after it with an insane enthusiasm. Make sure you come with passion. It's fun, but it's work. It's definitely worth it. If you're gonna do it, go in and do it all the way. I was flipping through the back of Premier Magazine and I saw an ad for Watkins. I went to the website, I was instantly amazed. And I sent off for a packet and got it in the mail and came out and visited the school. I met with some of the faculty, I met with some of the people in the office. And I was there a couple months later. I came like willing and ready um, to experience something new. I wanted to um, talk about art. There's so much creativity ranging all over the place. As soon as I got there, it totally felt like a different vibe. Loved it like from the beginning, and I've been here ever since. Nashville was like really welcoming to shoot. You know, they, they loved it. Everybody opened their doors. It's, it's a very inviting city. You do sort of embrace that indie spirit. Before you go to film school, you need to make sure that it's not some fad that you're currently into and that you're going to be in it for the long haul. There's a lot of work to be put in. It's a lot of a lot of time, so you definitely have to be prepared for that. And not just to things you haven't experienced, but to constructive criticism. And you have to be individual in your thinking. I think the type of person that would do really well at Watkins is the kind of person that is motivated, that is passionate about art in general. Be very serious about it. It's a very serious, intense college. To be outgoing, very organized, and very good with stress. Come with a burning desire to learn. There's a little bit of rebel. They're creative and they like testing the boundaries. So much possibility here in Nashville, and the art community is so supportive of our school. It just becomes this merging of the arts, which is so great. Watkins has a wonderful reputation, and I think that it's because of the art basis. All those classes that I thought I didn't need really helped me along the way. I have a couple of friends that have already graduated from here that do commercial work but because they have this fine art base, their work really stands out from other commercial work. You feel like this itch to just try new things, like every class I've had, I've been able to incorporate it somehow into my collective body of work. I love the sense of camaraderie. I love the sense of uh, community. There's really a, an atmosphere of we're all in this together. Like we're all living together as a family, making movies, a really great college experience. You got all the hands-on attention that you could possibly ask for. But they just made me feel right at home and taught me all the proper skills that I need to know and the business as aspect of how to be an artist, which is very important. They want to help you, and they want to help you succeed, um, and they want to challenge you. So it's really hands-on with the students, so the, the teachers get to spend time with every student and make sure that you're going in the right direction. Most teachers at Watkins do and teach at the same time. Repeatedly, Watkins pulls in these professionals to work and teach their classes, and I just think it's really, really valuable. I'm always pushed and I'm always working and I always feel like I'm getting support from the teachers that are pushing me. It's not just a push away, it's, it's to further educate myself and to grow. 
I, I wasn't prepared for as much work as it was, but it's not work because I love it. One of the things I remember the most is 10 o'clock at night, 11 o'clock at night, it's quiet, dead, and just walking around waiting for the film to render. It's just it's such a, uh, a great memory of mine. I currently work for the president of Disney Train Studios. Recently I was hired as a director of photography on a feature documentary. I work at Universal Studios and I'm an assistant sound editor. My second feature script is out there with the studios. I plan to go on to grad school to get my master's so that I can teach. I work with an architectural and interior design firm. I want to stay in the natural area right now though, just doing design. I guess I've achieved what I wanted to achieve, and that's to communicate with everyone through my work.